Hi, my name is Jennifer Johnson, and I'm a partner here at St. Cohen Wright & Saladin. I've been with the firm since 2005. Um, I concentrate my area of practice in landlord-tenant law, real estate, general civil litigation, construction litigation, and I also ha handle some traffic okay. events. One other thing to um, think about in the state of Illinois, if you're a contractor and you haven't been paid for work, whether you're a general contractor or you're a subcontractor or you're a material supplier, whatever the case may be, um, you do have lien rights in Illinois. Uh, it's uh, There's a, a statute called the Illinois Mechanics Lien Act. Um, it's actually a construction lien. It's not a uh, an actual mechanics lien, as the name of the statute suggests. But keep in mind that if you're not paid by either a property owner or by a general contractor or, or whatever the case may be, you do have lien rights uh, to be able to record a lien against the property to preserve whatever monies that you may be owed um, by whatever party owes you the money. Uh, it's very specific. Uh, it's very specialized. It's a, a very important area for you to have an attorney to help you navigate the process. Um, there are certain notices that have to be done. Uh, the notices depend on whether you're a contractor, whether you're a subcontractor, whether it's an owner-occupied single-family home, whether it's a vacant lot, or whatever the case may be. Um, and, this, and the notices that are required are have certain time frames that must be followed, and also they have certain contents that are required of the notice by statute. Uh, if, if something is done and there's a misstep on any of the notices or for the context contents of the lien, um, then that could be cause for dismissal of the lien. Um, the beauty of the mechanics lien in Illinois is that if everything is done correctly uh, and the lien is recorded uh, and the property is either foreclosed on by a bank or there's a lawsuit filed to foreclose the lien, you actually stand as a contractor or a subcontractor um, with a couple of caveats, but generally speaking, you stand in the shoes of the owner and can stand to take ownership of that property re to recoup the funds that you're owed uh, under your contract for the work that was performed for which you weren't paid. So if you do have an, an issue with not being paid on a construction project, uh, landscaping, um, uh, carpentry work, material supplier, plumbing, electrical work, etc., make sure you give us a call so we can help you navigate through the process and, as and assist you in preparing this, the notices and the liens uh, as you require for your particular situation.